60-second economics on financial speculation and market bubbles. Financial markets can often fail because of excessive speculation driven by herd behaviour. Investors may buy assets, such as housing, not for their intrinsic value, but because they expect the price to rise further. And this creates a self-fulfilling prophecy where asset prices detach from reality, forming a bubble. The eventual impact, of course, is a market correction or a crash when investor confidence collapses. Let's look at three historical examples. First of all, the dot-com bubble in the late 1990s, where investors poured money into web-based companies, often ignoring valuation metrics like profit or revenue. It was driven by the new economy hype and stock prices soared. But when the reality of unprofitability for many of these dot-com startups set in, the bubble burst in 2000, wiping out trillions in market value and ban bankrupting many firms. In the mid-2000s, the US housing bubble, where speculation in real estate was fueled by easy credit and the belief that house prices could never fall. Investors flipped houses for quick profits, driving prices way above fundamental value. But as we know, of course, the bubble burst in 2007-2008, triggering the subprime mortgage crisis and a global financial meltdown. And finally, the Japanese asset price bubble in the late 1980s. Loose monetary policy fueled a speculative mania in Japanese real estate, property and stocks. At its peak, the land under the Imperial Palace, for example, was rumoured to be worth more than all of California. While the Japanese property bubble burst in the early 1990s, leading to Japan's lost decade of deflation and economic stagnation.